Oh, there's my buddy, ladies and gentlemen, Jason of Becomers. <laughs> What's up, dude? How you been? Oh, uh, what a welcome, man. I'm so happy to see you. What's up, BG? What's up, Mac? Good Mac to see Attack. you, buddy. Good to see you. How uh, how, how is life? Life is good, man. You know, it's like, you know me, bro. I'm always trying to find that silver lining. You know, the world can go crazy as all at once, but I'm just, I'm going to keep living, bro. You know? Hell yeah. Uh, for people that may not know who you are, could you please uh, properly introduce yourself? Uh, let us know whereabouts in the world that you are and uh, plug anything that you'd like to plug. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Um, this is Jason from Becoming and uh, out of San Jose, California. Born and raised here in the Silicon Valley Bay Area. Um, yeah, so if you want to check out Becoming, we'll just get all this out of the way first. You know, you can go to metalforlife.org. You can go to facebook.com forward slash becoming band. You can go to instagram.com forward slash the band becoming, as well as uh, becoming.band. I already said uh, becoming.band is another one so many urls if you get confused just go to link tree forward slash metal for life and that'll get you to wherever you want to go and check out more you get you know dang you claimed you claimed a cool one metal platforms. metal for life you claimed a cool Bro, one. Oh, right yeah this isn't like oh I'm metal for life you know like i'm non-conformist and you know live with my parents or anything like that no no offense to anyone who lives with their parents but the the, the reality is um in the context that becoming uses metal for life is it's metal to help you through life. Right. Cause we all know that, you know, it's a crazy world out there and we're all just trying to make it through the now, you know what I mean? I know exactly what you mean. Uh, explain to me about the wish challenge. I saw that, uh, that Zach hit me up for about this. Uh, what is the wish challenge that you have going on right now? So this song, you know, originally, you know, one day, you know, when I was working on the album In the Name of God, I was like, you know what, let me just play like my favorite hip hop beat that I can play on the drums, right? And then I, I so I dropped a drum track. And I was like, yeah, that's kind of tight, you know? And then I was like, all right, let me get just like the stinky, funky, just like awesome bass line. That that's I can do nasty. With a distortion. Nasty bass line. <laughs> and, you know, the heavy guitars. And, you know, it, it, you know the, the hardcore metal folks that are into like black and death metal and all that, sometimes they're just like, fuck this song, you know? But like, you know, for me, it's kind of like a crossover and it's in a good spirit. Right. So the wish challenge, just like the lyrics in the song is I wish a motherfucker would. And basically I'm wishing things like, you know, to have a good life, to get hyped, you know, to live the dream, make the scene, all of that. But most importantly is, you know, stop hating, stop blaming, you know, because we live in a culture today at this very moment where things are super hot and sensitive. You know, I'm a uh, Puerto Rican, Italian, French, native American, Swiss descent, right? Mm -hmm. You know, my wife's Vietnamese. I, I grew up in the Bay area. It's very diverse here. You know, I got friends from all walks of lives and orientations that you could imagine. Right. But at the end of the day, we're all part of the human race, right? So hashtag human race, you know, you'll see in this video, it's just a call for everybody to say, hey, I wish a motherfucker would stop hating, right? Yeah! 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 <laughs> I like it, let's check it out. Yeah. It's the Becoming, at Becoming Ban on Facebook, by the way. I see most of these are cameos, but how many of the of these are, are were people that actually went beyond just the cameo and were like, dude, Jason, you're a cool guy. Like, let's keep in touch. Like, I know it can't be a whole lot of them, but I know it's not a whole lot of them, no, but. I, so we're not like on first name basis or boy, like Chris and Phil, you know, I known them, you know, and seen them around the scene for a long time. We're not like hanging out on the weekends, drinking beer or nothing, but you know, a lot of respect for them dudes. You know, Phil was in technocracy back in the day and violence and all that before he was a machine head. Now he's back at violence. Chris, you know, he's just a staple of the scene here in the Bay Area. He's got a new band called The Boneless Ones. Uh, he was the original drummer, or the drummer for Machine Head during Burn My Eyes. 
Um, but in any case, yeah, um, you know, Rob Dukes, you know, he's real tight with uh, our artist, uh, Melody, designed by Melody. Um, but yeah, you know, a lot of these folks, you know, were not like on first name basis, hanging out. Some of them, the cameos, yeah, I paid for them because it was for a good cause, right? And some of them were free, right? Because of people I know, so on and so forth. But cameos are a pretty cool tool, right? For, for bands, you know, you want to do something, you know, go on there and wish people happy birthdays. Eventually, BG, you're going to be doing cameos, bro. Because local band <laughs> smoke out is going all the way to the top. I love I that. I local bands. Bro, I believed in local band smoke out since the beginning, dude. I yeah, we've like, been friends for a long this time. Going, huh? This is true. This is very I true. Telling, I, I was all hitting BG up. I'm like, bro, this is your thing. You know, this is the thing. It's awesome. I love it because you, you can work with all these different folks. Right? This is like business. Music business is kind of kind of tricky sometimes. But I always say I work with people who are authentic and who have integrity and with people, you know, that are, are you know, cool. And so, you know, they do what they say they're going to do and so on and so forth. So, you know, me and BG forged a relationship early in, the, you know, the, the thing right after our first album or second album in the name of God came out. I'm sorry. That's my third album. My, uh, <laughs> my all that weed. That's my, all that like, weed. Like, <laughs> bro, look, like, this is the Ice Cube Good Day strain. Let's go. And Let's it's go. good day. Anyway, so kudos, local band Smoke Out. If you're a band, you should be like, you know, sending BG some love, spreading the word, you know, and uh, yeah. I appreciate you, bro. <laughs> you got my so man anyway, Tommy I on here, too. Wood. Yeah, yeah. Tommy oh, yeah, is so cool. We released it on Friday at 420 this past Friday. And as of right now, it's like at 108,000 plays on uh facebook you know so uh, you know it was really an honor of mlk day right we want people to be judged by the content of their character rather than the color of their skin or orientation or no matter what who i think one of the rappers said is uh, don't matter where you're from is how you come right so mm. come correct you know and hate in any fashion is bad so continue sir it's, it's a cool twist on like the the hip-hop slang of what the phrase is like too, but to twist it into well, like a positive aspect of. it's cool boom right on the money because every time you hear i wish a motherfucker would it's like okay do something to get in trouble or get in a fight or you know just you know it's like mm -hmm. the negative connotation so i was like you know I, I wish a motherfucker would you know get hyped live the dream i love how we got the little <laughs> that's so cool to clip what push play watch john travolta pops up and makes a cameo too and Damn. richard branson there you yeah, so it's like a, just a really positive track. That's cool. You, you told me that you yes, worked sir. with you worked with Steel Panther. You have Steel Panther coming up soon, as far as like tracking for for some new tunes. How how did how yeah, did yeah, that so, happen? So you know, networking networking is always good, and you know, it's it's a business at the end of the day, right? So you know, going out there, connecting with people, and you know, uh, trying you know, proposing ideas, right? Things like that, and you know, not everybody going to say yes at the end of the day. You know, but uh, so I connected with Sticks, and you know, so far he's like seven songs in on this next album for me. Some of the heaviest drumming I've ever heard. Sticks is just like like the coolest guy. Like you know, when, when we're talking and stuff, it's just like he, he gets music. The dude is super talented. But, but wait, 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 hold on, hold on. How, how, how? Tell me how. Like, let's say a small time band in a garage. You you're just hitting up artists, and sometimes they say yes, and sometimes you never hear from them again. But what advice would you yeah. would you give to a small time band that wants to reach out to their hero to get them on a track or get involved with working them? Like how, how what advice would you give them? So if I was, you know, on my first demo album back in like 98, couldn't couldn't have pulled any of this off. But, you know, the succession of events, I built a brand, you know, and I've got, you know, my albums out and, you know, we've got our content that we do. So, you know, it, it's elevate your your game to like a level where, you know, you can attract, uh, you know, like minded people and other folks that are, as they say, want to hitch their wagon to your you know horses if you will right everybody likes to work with people who work hard and ever since you know i started doing this i i work 110 percent all the time you know I'm, i i bust my ass i get shit done uh, fully independent right so my advice to a younger artist is like build it if you will build it they will come just like the field of dreams man like you know in the name of god was my you know third album 
right? And, you know, we dropped that in 2020. And after that album went out, I actually felt like, oh, wow, I have access to this next tier of folks to work with. So I'm super grateful. Everybody's like super cool. You know, everything is proper. And, uh, you know, don't I don't waste people's time. You know, I handle the business and, you know, we have fun, like have fun doing it. So like follow your dreams, you know, get out there, do their hustle, but work on putting out a quality product too. You know what I mean? Definitely. Do uh, Build let's, the brand. Let's... Oh, real quick. All bands, artists, make sure you have your copyrights and your publishing secured. Step one. Step two, trademark your band name, right? So, you know, I have the trademark for becoming you know, but now I can battle Michelle Obama and Disney with that, right? But the key with the trademark is like I own it as a heavy metal band. Michelle Obama owns it for books and audio books and things like that, and Disney owns it for TV shows. So you know, it, you can coexist. But I've had like so many bands over the years, you know, called The Becoming or Becoming This or Becoming That, and and I literally just reach out. Here's the email. Boom. Cease and desist. Here's our shit. You know, you should have done your due diligence. Change your fucking name or I'll keep all your money. No. <laughs> Anyhow, but that <laughs> but at the end of the day, uh, and then make sure you have a good attorney, not just a good attorney, get a great attorney. Be make friends with an attorney, somebody who's gonna help you when you need them to review contracts and to go over things, or if somebody starts infringing your trademark or just talking shit on the internet, you can literally have your attorney fuck them up. You know, that's what you get. You know what I mean? You gotta handle this like a business at the end of the day. Get your pen and paper out. This is this is juicy, juicy advice, details, <laughs> notes right here. Whoo! In the name of God. No barred. It's the one if I recall, the imagery that doesn't you... Chris right here play one of the riffs? Yeah, he starts he starts jamming it out, dude. That was, yeah. Got on there, you know? poop and whatnot. I knew that there's gonna be some. Uh, Chris some is coffee. like a fucking rock Thought star. On the you know? old... Man, like, uh, you never know where it's gonna go, man. And you got the good uh, visual representation of what you're trying to uh, put out there as well. So. Congrats on that, man. Uh, honored to uh, to have been able to have a chance to listen to that. Yeah, I like that thing. I might end up somewhere, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. That, that's so cool that's that he, cool. he played your riff right there. That's tight. Yeah, I love chris dude. like he's always i love how he's like positively affecting anything that could be his hashtag positively affecting your feed positively affecting like <laughs> chicken wings he doesn't care he's positively affecting everything in the world so shout out to chris kale dude that guy's awesome <laughs> hell yeah so i don't think a lot of people know that you you constantly have like different musicians you play a lot of instruments yourself but you have a lot of musicians involved in in your music um which is not necessarily the norm for most bands. Do you do you find that? Do you? F I'm I like sorry. it better, dude. Like, I mean, like I got a guitar player with me, Amir Fuladgar. He's been with me for forever, dude. We did all kinds of stuff over the years, but you know, he's on all these uh, albums, and you know, we actually did a corporate uh, rock band for a little while. So we're like playing at these tech company sales kickoffs to like hella people, like full production. It was pretty cool. Um, but Amir is in the band, right? And, he, you know, it would continue, like, officially. Um, but, uh, you know, years ago, I was like, you know what? I've worked with different folks along the way, and some of them make it, some of them don't, you know, if you maintain friendships. The part about uh, – hard, one of the hardest parts about having a band is actually – keeping the band together, everybody seeing eye to eye, having the same creative direction and becoming's always been my baby. Right. So at the end of the day, um, I, I've had multiple drummers over the years. I jam with this person, that person, and I'm, I guess, musically non-monogamous, <laughs> if you will. And I, I just love to jam with, you know, whoever I do some stuff with some hip hop folks. So, uh, you know, I've been doing some stuff with the architect. I don't know if anybody knows who he is out there. A lot of folks know him. He's, Bay Area legends, and but like I went to school with this guy like in eighth grade, growing up together, you know. Uh, and now he produces like some of the best like hip hop that you that I've heard, you know. Um, but uh, yeah, dude, uh, I just lost my train of thought again. Man, Ice Cube, good day. Is that is that, is that OG? Oh yeah. So oh so yeah, I, I'll jam it to anybody, you know. If, if, speaking of which, good reminder is I want you to do a guest track on this next album dude I, I want that backup vocal man from hit him <laughs> what do you want me to do i want you to scream man like you do 
All right, send me the people send me the track and I'll I'll take a, I'll take a listen and we'll see. You gotta play your song after this before after this one, dude. You gotta play hit him. Here we go. Hit him. What do you <laughs> don't know about hit him? Damn, Damn dude. son. <laughs> <laughs> Continue. Hit. So moving on. Get in the pool. I'm telling you. I'm hit autoing him. it in the pool. <laughs> so, so we're moving on 111, to 111,000 views, dude. It's gotta be decent, man. Come on. We had a good anyway, time yeah. a long, a long time ago. We had a good dude. time. I got a, I got a spot for you, dude, on a couple of little things. I, yeah, I got you. I'll take a listen. We'll see. Every now and then, I get, I get uh, the, oh. I get the tingle. I get the tingle, and I'm like, man. I know. Get out of retirement. Yeah. yeah. Get, once the... you get it, and you're like always sort of like <laughs> have that urge for music. And I know, you know, BG. You know, as we get older, we have kids. You know, the music business kind of can be a turnoff. I, well, I'm enjoying I, the most pop things. For me, I I can't really scream that well anymore. Um, but I'm definitely down to figure out something. I'll either, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I got a I got a course for you on a song, bro. We'll get it. Maybe I'll even sing. We'll see. But Jason, I have a question okay. for you. Are you have you seen have you seen any of the original Scream movies? We're doing some Scream trivia today. I saw like the first one. I'm not really a scary movie guy. My brother, he's he loves all those the scary movies and the B movies and stuff like that. I'm more like the sci-fi, you know, documentary dude in comedies, but I'll try. Maybe out of guessing you'll get it. But Mac, you're totally eligible on on these by the way. Here we go. How many this is from Scream 1. How many seconds delay does the hidden camera in Stu's house have? Oh man, I'm just going to guess 3 seconds. I don't know. This is incorrect. I'm just totally guessing. Mac, Figure do you want to guess? 30 seconds. 30 seconds is correct. What, Mac? Holy sh! <laughs> Give me a hell yeah. <laughs> Mac, I haven't asked you. I'm sorry. Do you have any questions for Jason, sir? I've honestly just been feeling the vibe and getting off his energy, so you guys are good. <laughs> right on, Mac. Welcome to the Becoming Tribe, dude. Hell yeah, welcome. I'm, I'm definitely gonna be. I'm definitely gonna be following and looking for forward to more music. Yeah, BG, your plants are looking mighty healthy, bro. I just gotta say that, that crop is looking clean. I pull one right now over just for you, Jason. Do you have any idea when possibly a first single from the new stuff could? So I'm gonna I'm gonna released. do a, a thing. I'm gonna just because I love you, BG, and I love local band Smoke Out. I believe this is day one. The name of our new album maybe it'll be i'll drop it i'm probably going to do january you know hopefully january 2023 because i like i want to have a full year's worth of stats you know um but i'll probably drop a single in a video uh i'd love to say in june you know we'll see but um yeah i serve no rhymes before their time i like it you heard of here first, probably January 2023, but we're getting a little something. The name of the album is going to be Consciousness Revolution. Why that? I've been tagging Consciousness Which is really Revolution. Cool. Well, it, the whole idea is, you know, like w the earth needs a consciousness revolution. We need to raise the vibration, you know? It's like, I'm always like, feel the metal, you know, metal for life, you know? Uh, the storm, like case in point, be strong and be here now. Right. Because, you know, tomorrow's not promised. Right. Live the best life you can. You know, if tomorrow never comes, what kind of life would you say it was? So I try to live karmically clean and just do my thing. You know, I like it. It's you're like a, a modern new age hippie in the coolest way. <laughs> Like I mean that with <laughs> the m most utmost respect. No, it's like totally cool. my you're wife, the most positive, my like loving guy. Like I know right now, and I just think that's so awesome. I get those awesome vibes, and you're and you're just a cool cat, man, for real. Man, thank you, bless, man. Like my wife and I, like we're like <laughs> we're like we're like the couple in the village that like everybody comes to our tent when you want to burn the sage and you know just unload and just you know get some, you know we try to you know just pay it forward, man, you know. The consciousness revolution is just like, don't be a dick, you know, raise your vibration, elevate humanity's elevation, just like the wish challenge, you know, wish a motherfucker would stop hating. Wish you know? mo and, and would. 
Yeah. Yeah. I just, you know, wish everybody the best, you know, because I want everybody to, you know, have a good life. You know what I mean? Absolutely. And I agree with that. I want to ask you another trivia so we can possibly try and get you on the wheel. Completely okay. opposite of Scream. It has nothing to do with it. It has to do oh, with okay. darts. It has to do with the game darts. Okay. All right. All right. How many points is the red inner circle worth on a dartboard bullseye? Red inner circle is a uh, double bull, right? How many no, points, no, no. though, is it actually worth on the scoring card? 100. 100. That is not correct. What, the red circle? The, so the bullseye. Okay. I, I suck, apparently, at darts. How, it says, anyway. it says how many. It's worded exactly this way. How many points is the red inner circle in a dartboard, dartboard bullseye worth? Christine 50. is also incorrect. Well, you said 100 first. Do you pronounce it gent or degent? I just say gent. You know, it's like a silent D. It's almost like a Z, I feel like. But I could be wrong, you know. It gent. almost feels like say, French. <laughs> gent. It does it gent. <laughs> I think you just heard yeah. something. <laughs> I, I was, all like, the, I was, all I was imagining some, some lyrics in there, dude. All courtesy of Ice Cube's Good Day. Jeez. <laughs> we need, we need, we need Ice Cube to come on the song. show. And bring us some goodies so Bro. we can try it and Dude, plug it. Every time, like, I hear a song, I'm thinking, like, oh, like, so when I just practice, right, when I'm not writing, I'll just, like, turn on whatever, and I'll just jam out to anything that comes on. I've been really stuck on, like, that the new wave shit from back in the 80s. You Like, The Cure? I love mm -hmm. jamming out to some Cure lately, dude. i seen The Cure live, anyway. like, like, three or four years ago. Um, it was oh, amazing. It was at the Hollywood Bowl, the and there's, if, if you've ever been to the Hollywood Bowl, there's, like, a specific area... Where they just do not, I mean, it's California, but still, like, it's frowned upon if you're in public. But there's a specific area where you can just go and just rip all the joints real quick that you've got that you've snuck in and no one cares. Like, it's like the one designated <laughs> area. And me and my wife, pre pregnancy, would go into this area and uh, get a little faded. Smoke weed every day. But yeah, and, and then we yeah, saw the cure and it was up. awesome. It's good times. Yeah. Through? I love the Cure. I saw him on the Disintegration tour. I'm dating myself a little bit, but back in the day, I saw it on Disintegration tour at Shoreline Amphitheater in Mountain View. It was so good. If you haven't seen their DVD, like that they just put out like a year or two ago, it's like one of the best live performances, and they did like killer effects and killer sound on it. And I heard that Robert Smith wants to do one more album and do a final tour to say his goodbyes. Oh wow! So if that happens, I'm gonna go check him out. You know, I'm there. Did you say you were dating yourself? Yeah, like, you know, I'm old, man. <laughs> I'm old. But I, I feel young inside, you know? It's like, I'm in my 40s, we'll just say that, you know? But The thing I really like about, about your music, Jason, is, like, you you challenge the listener. Like, you challenge the listener in a way to, like, question if they're doing things in, in life, like, the way that they meant to be at this point in their life and where are they where they want to be and... Like you, you, it's, 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 it's not in a subliminal way too. It's like very obvious, but it, it makes, it works with the music. But at the same time, like you walk away from the track, like, dang, this line like really hit me. I've been thinking about it and you know, I need to get my together and dude, consciousness revolution metal for life, bro. Like awaken your soul, you know, like, you know, the universe is, is inside of you man you know like you know regardless of which religious thing so that's the other thing a lot of people are like oh i'll be coming to christian band no no the religious people who are like de deeply religious are kind of mad at me right you know for some reasons it's like you know they say self-reliance you know only way to be saved is through jesus hey i love jesus too but you know like every different major war was started over religion or politics or something just crazy right and you know regardless of which text you read there's always something good in there i, I prefer to call it like omnism right so like uh but I, i'm i'm pretty much like all about the cosmic consciousness right and uh we are the universe experiencing itself through us so yeah it's kind of metaphysical it's kind of hippie um it's but deep. yeah you know that's this deep. deep but yeah it's like not it's i don't want to be like i mean like i could you know 
write horror movie metal and stuff like that and this and that, but it wouldn't be authentic for me, right? You know, so I leave that to like the cannibal corpses of the world and what have you. But I always wanted to use my platform for good. You know, some people are like, bro, this is like some, t- I get like messages from people who are like, bro, this shit got me more hyped than Tony Robbins, bro. I'm, using, I'm hitting this CD at the gym today. I'm like, cool. Like somebody like, I got a good one the other day. It was like, bro, I got a speeding ticket listening to your shit on the freeway. <laughs> I was like, yo, I'm not liable for speeding tickets, you know, you know, you talk to my attorney. <laughs> no, <laughs> anyhow. But yeah, dude, it's all about the revolution of consciousness, man. It, it's like I, I just a wise man once told me, he says, hey, if I get up every day and just keep trying to do the right thing, you know, everything seems to turn out all right. You know, I like it. That's a nice way to 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 end end the session right here. But uh, Jason, this is always a pleasure, brother. I, I love you, sir. It's, it's always yeah. fun seeing you. Is is there is there anything you'd like to plug on the way out? Uh, anything we need to know about or just final thoughts? Um, again, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I always thank love you. participating in the local band smoke out, you know, it's, it's, it's always a fun and a good time. I, I love what you're doing, BG. Keep doing it, man. Keep going, bro. You ever need anything, you know, I got you. So, um, you know, for everyone who, who tuned in, thank you so much. Um, keep spreading the word, join the becoming tribe at facebook.com forward slash becoming band, instagram.com the band becoming Subscribe to our YouTube at youtube.com forward slash becoming band. And if you get confused by which URL to remember, you can always go to metalforlife.org or linktree forward slash metal for life. Ladies and gentlemen, Jason of Becoming. Give me a hell yeah! I appreciate you, Take brother. Take the wish challenge. Take, Take the, wish, the challenge. wish challenge. Take the wish I challenge. Wish hashtag wish them. So you got to be tr- careful, right? So like the Facebook police started to get on me because I originally did hashtag wish a motherfucker would M U T H A F U C K A would. So I had to shorten it, right? Because just having F U C K like it kind of gets your shit flagged. So it's wish a W I S H A capital M F lowercase would. So hashtag wish challenge hashtag wish a M F would. You know, take the challenge, make your own video, post it, tag us, do all that. You know, but uh, keep keep making the consciousness revolution happen people all right thank you bg thank you mac attack appreciate you guys thank you jason we look forward to the track and like you said in uh june or july ish but primarily to the new music conscious revolution january consciousness revolution consciousness excuse me consciousness revolution yeah january 2023 we we hope so we hope yep thank you brother Thank you, guys. Have a great night. Peace. Cheers, and enjoy the rest of your evening. You too, guys. Thanks for having me. Hell yeah.